Prosecutors raised concerns that Bankman Fried could be witness tampering after he messaged the general counsel of FTX US using the app called Signal. Now, for more on this, we're joined by a former federal prosecutor, Mitchell Epner. Good morning, Mr. Epner. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, good morning, Mitch. Great to be here again. So your just thoughts on basically the prosecution, the defense came to an agreement. And the judge said that's not good enough. And now there's stricter bail in place or bail restrictions put in place. What do you think uh, of the decision that was made yesterday? So Judge Lewis Kaplan in the Southern District of New York is a no nonsense judge. Um, I've practiced in front of him many times. Um, and he said, basically, it's all well and good that you on the prosecution and you on the defense have come to an agreement about additional restrictions on um, SBF's communications. But just because you're comfortable doesn't mean that I'm comfortable. Uh, the problem here is that SBF um, keeps incriminating himself from his parents' basement, which is literally true. And I think the prosecution is happy to have him do more speaking while he's out of jail. But I think he's running a real risk of ending up in jail before trial. And if convicted at trial, either never emerging from jail or only emerging as a very old man. Well, please explain why it's a problem for him to contact somebody that he used to work with on Signal. Uh, you know, it's an encrypted messaging service. And, and I think people might draw their own, you know, uh, they, they might they might decide for themselves. But I'm curious as to you, somebody who's practiced in front of that judge and is a former federal prosecutor. What is the issue there as relates to his trial and his freedom? So a standard part of any bail package in, in federal court is you can't contact potential witnesses. Um, the guy who is going to be charged used to tell the general counsel, who I believe is a woman, um, do this, don't do that. Those commands are things that he might be put in jail for giving. If he gets together with the general counsel and they concoct a story, that is a problem. And that is win witness tampering, that's obstruction of justice, that is, is its own separate crime. Um, because the only way in America that we convict people is through documents and other evidence which come in through a sponsoring witness. This general counsel is almost certainly going to be a witness. I see, I see. And and he probably should have known that, Bankman Freed. But let me ask you this, is he being advised on this or is he just not listening to the advice? Because like you said, he continues to give interviews. Uh, he has tried to contact people on Signal. Uh, and his lawyers were arguing that he should still be able to contact people. And the judge said no. So is he just not listening to people advising him or is he receiving bad advice? So I know who his attorneys are. I'm not there for the discussions. They're very good attorneys. Plus, SBF keeps starting most of his interviews by saying, my lawyers tell me not to do this. So I'm presuming that his lawyers are telling him not to do it. And he just thinks he's smarter than everybody else. Well, and how, how can that get a, a client into hot water? Because I'm sure it's not a, not a really great approach to take. Well, he d clearly does not understand that the words that he's used and the promises that he's made that led people to put a lot of money, billions of dollars in his care, are threatening to put him into a cage for the rest of his life. And there are no additional words that he can say that will make it better. He can only make it worse. And what I mean by making it worse is take away uh, available defenses. It's very hard to prove that somebody knew that what they were doing was wrong. Every time SBF opens his mouth, he makes it easier. And I find that really interesting. You said that the prosecutors might want him to continue speaking and sending messages because he's helping to incriminate himself. That might be a legal strategy here. Well, yes. I, I mean, I have seen this before. They don't want him communicating in secret and arranging things with with other witnesses. But if he agreed to come on News Nation with Mitch Carr tomorrow morning, they'd say, fine, go right ahead. We'll just uh, set the DVR. Tomorrow's Saturday, Mr. Epner, but maybe on Monday. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty certain if SBF gave you an interview, you'd show up on Saturday. I guess so. Would we have a show for it? We're working on that. That's Mitchell Epner, former federal prosecutor. Thank you for joining us.
Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.